back at the vehicle. We're gonna look at a few maps and then uh, we're gonna make a decision on where we're gonna go to find our second, third locations. You know, like I said before, there may be more locations on this one track of land since it's, you know, two or 3,000 acres. But uh, I think it's more like 3,000 acres. But uh, at the same time, we need to have some additional locations that aren't on this piece of property. Just to give us that plan B ability to make a move and make an adjustment in case someone's there. Maybe the birds have moved. Or just based on your schedule. So we're going to try to find another location. All right, so this is... Uh, Friday morning and uh, we're gonna head to another location we're gonna try to exercise a plan B uh, in preparation for the opening day of turkey season all right you can see we're looking at our map right now and you see these grid lines here it's, I know it's gonna be difficult to see but we're here and we're not on an access road. I'm actually looking. And we'll just let you see what I'm seeing right now. See right here to my left, there's a ridge that's going out. And you got a steep holler there. And when I was driving down the road, there was a clear cut. Well, it's an older clear cut, but you can tell the timber is a lot shorter than the rest of the timber. So you think that would be some good edge, good forage area. So this is an inconspicuous place. So we're gonna go in there and uh, just scout around. I mean, it's possible we'll hear a bird. It's a little breezy today. Uh, the wind's blowing quite a bit. It's, the wind's blowing a little bit more than what I anticipated. It's actually cooler today. I think the temperatures are in the 30s probably. But uh, the goal is find an area that's gonna have the least amount of pressure because I'm in National Forest and on opening day, there could be a lot of people in here if we decide to choose this, but we're looking for that next option to locate some birds okay so we're going to just walk in there we're going to look for the same sign that we looked for uh, in our previous location we're going to look for scratch sign we're going to look for droppings feathers uh, potential roost trees with those steep faced slopes uh, and maybe we'll hear some vocalization maybe we'll hear uh, some hens calling or, or some gobblers in there who knows we may even see a bird but that's the plan we're just going to walk in there and uh, scout and see what we find. Okay, we just crossed the road and uh, right over here is that ridge. You can, just, you can see it. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna cross right through here. over this edge right here. Let's see if we can see if that's a actual clear cut. I'm not listening. This is going to drop off. stuff but you can see the growth down there compared to up here it does look a little smaller okay we come off that point we're on you can see it it's up there and we come down so I'm looking for acorns right now we got a big chestnut acorn tree there and I was looking around for some acorns if you can't see them you know just 
scratch it up. And this is what you'll find. Go underneath. Ah, I dropped that one. But look at these. These are acorns right here. And they've already germinated. And we're starting to grow into, you know, this low tree. So just because you don't see it on the top layer, scratch down. Look at that. There's more. So I know this tree's been bearing, so here's food. Uh, I haven't seen much sign, but we're gonna ease on. We're gonna ease back down through there and see if there's anything else we can find. Okay, uh, scouting so far, the terrain looks good for turkeys. We found some scratching, some old scratching, but there's been a tremendous amount of acorns in here. So we're gonna ease down in here. We're gonna cross this creek. And see, we were coming, we came from this side, so there's another ridge coming over here. Okay, we've finally reached the bottom of this ridge, and it's pretty impressive. You, you see what's going on here. Got this ridge coming down. Over there, you've got a ridge coming down. You can barely see the small ravine. Starting of a holler. You got another ridge over there, and another one over here. So there's, you know, several ridges that are feeding down in here. And looks like the creek is getting a little bit bigger. We're going to ease on down. See some deer tracks. Now I have not <clears throat> seen any rub. There are a few of these pine trees that are broken off. Of course, obviously this is turkey season, but we need to be efficient in our scouting, don't we? If you're out in the woods, go ahead and do both. So we're easing down in here. It actually, looks like you got a spring there. And then we got the creek coming over on this side. You know, we just came from the other side, so that's that creek over there. It looks like there's several creeks feeding down into this. Wow, it looks like a little hub. I mean, if you visualize a uh, bicycle tire back in the days when you rode a bicycle when you were a kid, right in the center <clears throat> where all the spokes come in. That's basically where we're at right now. And it's a nice place, but all the turkey sign, and it looks like there might be some scratching there. We may have to go up there and take a look, but primarily the scratching was, was up there. It was about uh, two thirds of the way up this ridge. That's where I found most of the scratch sign. going to ease through here. I want to walk a little further. You know, based on the mapping, I believe there's some private land this way, so I don't know how far we can go before we hit the private land. And I was kind of hoping Definitely the deer tracks. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping the creek wouldn't be as rocky, but you know, in the mountains, that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get very many muddy or sandy bottom areas because I was kind of hoping we could find some tracks, but it doesn't appear we're going to be able to do that. And you got another spring coming out right here opening up so we're gonna keep walking and see if we can find some you know any more scratch sign maybe some all right we're making it back to the vehicle now and we're gonna go to our next spot you know if i was to rate this spot from one to ten you'd probably get a four and that's only because of the amount of mass crop i saw in there and then that quad ridge coming down into that one hub other than that I didn't see any turkey sign or deer sign that would be the equivalent of the amount of food that I saw in there so I would rate that as a four but we'll go to the next spot and this is a second spot this morning first spot didn't yield that much in regards to sign now we did find an abundance of mass there with the white oaks red oaks and chestnut oaks but just not a lot of turkey sign. 
But uh, this next spot, this is our plan C. You can tell there's a wildlife opening here and the access is real easy. Not anything like we went through a minute ago. So this would have to be hit sometime in the middle of the week. So we're just gonna scout this out just to see if we find any, anything better than we did before.